It's time for some cosmic excitement because, after a cosmic coffee break of three whole years, the magnificent gravitational wave detector known as LIGO is back online. Brace yourselves for mind-blowing revelations about the secrets of the universe. What are these gravitational waves? Well, they're like tiny ripples in space itself that travel through the vast expanse of the universe. Unlike light waves, which get all tangled up in the galaxies, stars, gas, and dust out there, these gravitational waves are nearly unstoppable. They zoom through the cosmos, giving astrophysicists an exclusive backstage pass to the most epic phenomena in the universe. So, what has LIGO been up to during its break? It's been getting some serious upgrades. Think of it like LIGO went to the cosmic spa and got a rejuvenating makeover. They're boosting LIGO's sensitivity to a whole new level. LIGO can observe even more distant objects and catch those itty-bitty ripples in the fabric of space-time. But here's the real game-changer, by detecting more events that produce gravitational waves, astronomers can team up with other observatories and create a cosmic symphony of information. This approach, known as multi-messenger astronomy, allows us to learn things about physics that go way beyond what we can do in a laboratory. Massive objects like black holes or neutron stars merging and creating a cosmic commotion. These mergers cause space to warp and flex, sending out ripples across the universe, just like a wave on a still pond. These ripples slightly bend space and ever so subtly change the distance between objects they encounter. Even though these events involve some of the most colossal objects in existence, the stretching and contracting of space are incredibly tiny. I'm talking about a strong gravitational wave passing through the Milky Way, and only changing the galaxy's diameter by three feet. Detecting these waves wasn't always a walk in the park. Einstein predicted them way back in 1916, but measuring these minuscule changes in distance was like trying to find a needle in a cosmic haystack. That is until the genius scientists at Caltech, MIT, and other universities around the world constructed the LIGO Observatory. LIGO is made up of two observatories, one in Hanford, Washington, and the other in Livingston, Louisiana. Each observatory looks like a giant L with long arms reaching out in opposite directions. To measure gravitational waves, they shine a laser beam down these arms, reflect it off a mirror, and bring it back. If a gravitational wave happens to pass through while the laser is doing its thing, those two beams will return at slightly different times. LIGO has been around since the early 2000s, but it wasn't sensitive enough to detect those sneaky gravitational waves. So, in 2010, the LIGO team rolled up their sleeves, shut down the facility, and went full-on upgrade mode. The upgraded LIGO started collecting data in 2015. Almost immediately, they detected gravitational waves from the merger of two black holes. Since then, LIGO has been on a roll, completing three observation runs. The first one, O1, lasted about four months, followed by O2, which went on for nine months. Then came O3, which ran for a whopping 11 months before the cosmic party got interrupted by the pandemic. During these runs, scientists have been upgrading their gear and analysis methods like true cosmic innovators. By March 2020, they had already detected about 90 gravitational waves from black hole and neutron star mergers. They shut down for more upgrades in 2020. One of the upgrades involves adding a 1,000-foot optical cavity to squeeze out the noise using quantum light wizardry. With this upgrade, they're going to detect gravitational waves that are even weaker than a feather's whisper. Scientists have been hard at work on the software and algorithms used to process all that LIGO data. We're talking about algorithms that can recognize signs of gravitational waves, sort them out from the cosmic noise, and match them with theoretical models of black hole and neutron star mergers. These upgraded algorithms are like cosmic detectives with a sixth sense for spotting those elusive gravitational waves. 
And here's where it gets even more exciting. In May 2023, LIGO kicked off an engineering run to make sure everything was in tip-top shape. Lo and behold, on May 18th, they detected gravitational waves from a neutron star merging into a black hole. LIGO's observation run 04, spanning a glorious 20 months, will officially commence on May 24th. But LIGO won't be alone. Virgo, the Italian observatory, will join in, along with a brand new Japanese observatory called Kegra. This time around, the Cosmic Dream team has a special mission, detecting and pinpointing gravitational waves in real time. Imagine this, they spot a gravitational wave event, trace its cosmic origins, and alert other astronomers at lightning speed, so they can point their telescopes at the exact source of the gravitational waves and collect even more mind-blowing data. Up until now, astronomers have observed a single event in both gravitational waves and visible light, the merger of two neutron stars in 2017. Physicists studied the expansion of the universe and confirmed the origin of those dazzling gamma-ray bursts. But with RUN-04, we're stepping into a new era of astronomical wonder. LIGO, Virgo, and Kegra will unlock the most sensitive gravitational wave observatories in the history of humankind. The coming months will surely bring us breathtaking multi-messenger observations that will push the boundaries of modern astrophysics. We're on the verge of unraveling the universe's best-kept secrets, and I couldn't be more thrilled to share this cosmic adventure with all of you. Stay curious, stay amazed, and let's embark on this mind-blowing journey together.